Hello all. Uh, this video is going to be on setting up a very simple encryption uh, on your uh, Arch Linux uh, hard drive. And I mean very simple uh, without any kind of uh, LVM or anything. Just basic uh, simple encryption. So I've outlined uh, some notes here and I'll put these in a paste bin. Uh, one thing to take note of is the, uh, you have to have a bootloader on a separate partition. And we're going to use crypt setup, and which is going to and a separate boot, as I said, and then the set the encryption is going to be on the root. Okay, so on the safe side, you just mod probe dm dash crypt. So I, it should be loaded anyways, but we'll just do a check dm dash cryptpt, and nothing comes back. It's loaded. Okay, so this is a clean hard drive uh, nothing on it there's more documentation on how to if you want to really secure erase this the disk uh, you might want to look into that but I'm just gonna move on and go with uh, F disk and device SDA so I'll zoom in make it a bit easier uh, F disk and slash DEV slash SDA and we're gonna type new or n for new sorry uh, just to hit enter for primary default one uh, the first sector we leave alone so press enter the next one is kind of hard to see I'll move over is make sure you put a plus five one two and a capital M you press enter and if you want to be sure that it's bootable uh, I think this is optional just type a and this is now it's, it's a bootable flag, okay? And press W to write. So now we have our boot um, partition ready to go. So I'll clear the screen back to the top. And again, F disk, new, oops, sorry, no, wrong button, apologies, new. And we'll just do the rest primary and use the rest of the disk space and just type W. To write out okay so now we have two partitions so if we do on f disk dash l you see sda1 is our boot and sda2 is the root where we're going to encrypt uh, the file system so we will go over the notes here so we're going to use crypt setup as i mentioned and the linux uh, unified key setup or something it's something like that you can look that up format and we want to use the device SDA2 and these are the instructions uh, just scribble them down on a piece of paper or something or just uh, practice in a virtual machine and maybe make it so it's like a muscle memory thing but in any case we'll we'll go through those so it's a uh, crypt you think if you type crypt yeah there you go you can press tab on that and then it's dash y um, Sorry, a dash Y dash V LU and I'll tab and then F capital F format slash DEV SDA2. And you have to type in yes in capital letters according to this anyway. So Y E S. Now you type in a password phrase. If you're going to do this on your main system, make sure it's fairly strong, obviously. If you want, you know, in your encryption and something you can memorize. So it's not going to be, it's not easy to do. You should practice uh, phrases and stuff. So anyway, type in some kind of phrase or password and to verify that and give it a second and it comes back. Now we have to open the device to enable to uh, format it. So crypt open device SDA to crypt root root so crypt set up open uh, we'll tab slash dev sda to crypt root you have to type that out actually and it's going to ask you for the password or the phrase you just made up so type that in and come back and it's open now the format's a little 
different. It's uh, MKFS-T extension 4 and then device mapper crypt root. So fairly straightforward. So MKFS-T EXT 4 slash DEV slash mapper crypt root. And now we've made our file system. And it takes a little longer than usual. And it's done there. And now we want to mount it. It's similar mount dash T extension for, and then the same command dev mapper crypt root to slash mnt. Okay. So mnt mount dash T -E -T extension for slash dev mapper uh, crypt root to slash mnt. Now it's mounted. And basically you've encrypted your file system it's pretty much done and from there we have to mount our boot partition and install Arch Linux so if you want as usual just LS for list out slash MNT and you'll see the lost and found there so moving on uh, the boot partition MKFS T extension for device SDA1 and then we make a directory slash MNT slash boot and then we mount it uh, basically the same dash T extension for SDA1 and MNT slash boot. Got all that? <laughs> I don't. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward. So MKFS dash T again extension for slash DEV SDA1. Okay, very quick there. And then uh, we'll just um, MKDIR slash MNT slash boot. And we mount, same idea, dash T, EXT4, slash MNT, slash boot. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. I have to say the partition in there. <laughs> uh, slash D, uh, DEV, SDA1, then out to MNT, slash boot. There we go. And LS, slash MNT, and now it has boot on the separate partition and the lost and found as we had before. So from here, you just install Arch Linux as you usually would. So quickly going through that, I'll clear the screen and we'll go up to the top and it's just pack strap. And as I mentioned in other videos, there are arguments like dash I for interactive or something, but I just do pack strap dash MNT and I'm just gonna get base and not base devel just to save some time. And you can always install base dev el um, after you've installed Arch. Anyway, so anyway, that's all I'm going to do. And press enter, and it'll sync the mirrors and download Arch Linux. And I'll be back when we're back at the uh, prompt to do more things. All right, so it's been installed. So uh, I'll clear the screen again, and we'll generate our file system table. I'm just going to use the basic device type. So gen fs tab out, out to slash mnt two arrows mnt uh, etsy fst ab and just arrow up to make sure i always check this cat and you see uh, device mappers are encrypted and file system and the boot partition so just a matter of arch dash chroot slash mnt and we're inside the linux uh, shell operating system and uh, i have lots of videos on setting up our linux and there's lots of other videos so i'll skip through all the stuff like uh, setting up your little cow and your time zone the only thing i would do is just set a password <laughs> so you can log in after to your uh, linux installation okay but the important things are to nano etsy mk init uh, cpio oh, dot config and here um, in the hooks section we'll go down oops just a little right here where the cursor is blinking hooks base u dev auto detect block put it somewhere around here the word n crypt and control O to write out and control X yeah, press that out then control X to exit out of there 
and now run mk init uh, cpio slash p linux and you should see crypt encrypt in there as right in here okay once that's done we'll just uh, grab grub basic grub uh, dos based grub so pacman dash capital s grub okay once that's installed we'll have to edit our grub configuration file and add this line in under the grub command line Linux, not in your the other one where it says quiet so anyway nano etsy uh, default slash grub so not under the grub command line Linux default we want it on the next line down here and script if you get mess this up you can always uh, reboot into the live CD and redo this so uh, crypt device equals slash dev sta2 and it's called crypt root and make sure we have that as you see here okay in this line and that's about it for that so just uh, control o to write out and and control x to exit so it's just a matter of installing grub so grub dash install slash dev sda remember there's no one or two after that and then we'll update our grub configuration with grub mk config dash o slash boot grub grub dot cfg and that's it up now grub's been installed mk in it yep okay so we just type exit and type u mount not unmount u mount slash mnt and a dash capital r and i'll just reboot and uh come back so if you haven't removed the arch iso or powered off i'll just uh, arrow key down to where it says boot existing os and we'll have a look and there's our grub screen run arch linux okay there we go so you have to type in that phrase way back when you uh in encrypted the disk of course so whatever you typed in or type in um, use that one again hopefully you don't forget it and then after that I'll press enter that's just usual virtual box stuff is log in as your root and whatever other password and there you go you have a Linux encrypted file system okay and now if you're concerned about the bootloader being not encrypted there's documentation on that but it's a little more in depth in some ways but th this is basically all you do and then after that you just install you know your drivers and your uh, for audio video and uh, desktop environment just as you would normally in any arch linux command line based installation okay so that's just very simple encryption dm crypt in arch linux All right so any questions comments feel free to add them and that should do it for this one and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you soon and bye for now